Hello everyone, Code Theorem here for another episode in Roblox game development, specifically mini game development. Just a quick news update, guys. When we're done with this mini game, Roblox game development, the series is done. But it's okay. The reason it's going to be taken care of and done is because I'm still making Roblox videos. I'm going to make a ton of Roblox videos. Don't worry, alright? But I'm going to make them on a more how-to basis. How to make this, how to do this, how to write this code, how to make this script, how to build this. And they'll be in parts, sometimes two parts, sometimes three, sometimes more for bigger projects, okay? But I'm not going to have them in this string of series. Now that I've gotten so far in this series, I think I've taught the language well enough. Okay, now in those how-tos, I'm going to go over the language again. I'm going to have to go over basic parts of Lua again. Okay, I understand that. But the reason I want to do this is just because it gives me a little bit more freedom to do anything I want. And they don't necessarily have to be in order of one another. Alright? Anyway... We're going to continue on with our mini game, and in this episode, we're going to give players a sword. So, we're just going to give them the default linked sword um, that Roblox um, that Roblox has made. So, let's go ahead, scroll down. Where is weapons? Nope, not vehicles. Weapons. There we go. Um, all right, grab this linked sword here. Um, no, do not put it in starter pack. We'll just put it here. We're actually going to put that in server storage, all right? Let's go to our default minigame script. And now when we spawn the player, okay, when we spawn their character, we're also going to want to do this. And we don't want to do that part. We want to do it just here, all right? We want to get sword equal, uh, let's make it local, local sword equals game dot server storage um, dot linked sword clone we're going to clone the linked sword we're going to put that sword in the player so sword dot parent equals player dot backpack that simple all we're doing in this is we're gra we're copying the sword which is currently in server storage and then every time a player is spawned back to our game we're giving them the linked sword okay we're giving them the linked sword and putting it in their backpack for them to use so now when we run this game we're going to have to press ah, I pressed the entirely wrong button there we go F7 uh, because we can't test this in play solo mode you will not get your leader stats you will not be um, you will also not have enough players. So now we've pressed F7. We'll pu or press Alt F7. Or maybe we hadn't added that. I'm not sure if we um, have forced it to have two people yet. Hmm. Anyway, default mini game has been chosen. Get ready. We don't have any other mini games yet, uh, but you guys can add that. There we go. See, we get our sword. And now let's say I fall off this edge here. We I fell to my death. Oh no. <laughs> so terrible. It's okay. Uh, now that we've fallen to our doom, I think we should be teleported. Oh. Uh, too short. But anyway, it gave us our sword as I needed to, um, it to. All right. Now, for some reason, I don't think it spawned our player back. Um... So actually what we'll do is repeat wait until player.character does not equal nil just to save ourselves a little bit of trouble here. Wait one and we're going to add another wait one just as a like trip check because uh, I think that was the problem that the character didn't exist yet when we did all that. There we go. Uh, actually huh, we, we don't we don't want to wait one when we're spawning people there that that'll work how we have it right now it'll work perfectly 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 fine all right um now that we've done this 
I believe that's it for adding in swords. We might make a map next time, but I think we'll save that for the time after because I'd also like to teach you guys how to keep track of when people kill each other and give them points when they kill each other. And then, um, then we'll go through there when we end the game. Where is game over? Is that in here? Where are we saying who won? <laughs> Um, oh, okay, we're passing in winners and points awarded, and that should be in the game over event. Okay, we're just firing. We're never calling game over. We need to fix that. We need to call game over. Okay, um, and we'll cut that and we'll paste that here. There we go. So now we're calling game over and we're getting rid of our connections that is vital we have to get rid of those connections or else we might connect it three four times and then we're spawning players four times even though they've only needed to be spawned once they've only died or they've only been spawned in once we don't want to do that all right so anyway thank you guys for watching this video this has been code theorem roblox making you another mini game uh how to tutorial roblox game development video I've had a super fun time with the series. I hope you guys have learned a lot. I hope you've had fun along with me. I've learned a lot since I started the series, and I hope it shows a little. I hope I wasn't too uh, obvious that I was still learning when I started the series. I regret that a little bit, but I'm glad I did because I never would have gotten as far as I am now, and some of you may not have gotten as far as you are now. Don't worry, we've still got four or five more episodes of this series left, but after that, we're going to a how-to basis on these videos. So thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like button. It helps me out a ton, and I will catch you guys later.